Now, how many of you have a problem with the term God? Yeah? <laughs> I don't like saying it's G-O-D. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I don't know why. I just, it's only because it's tied into religious churches who are full of control and fear. Exactly, exactly. And the majority of people who don't like the term God feel the same. But I'm going to use the term as the source of your being. Right, so if anyone has questions, if they could sort of speak fairly loudly, that would be good. Very loudly. Or if uh, they even stand up, maybe, I'd probably... Um, just relating my own perception, I think God voice. is um, <coughs> the generated, organising and destroyer. That's um, a, a process rather than... Right, so how many people believe God is a process or just an energy of the universe? Yeah? How many believe God is an entity? A being? Every time we start talking about energy, every time we start talking about energy, we start getting very philosophical. I don't want to do that with you today. What I want to do is show you how to connect with God, and I know for certain that God is not just an energy. God is a being that has energy. So it's a bit like, um, here's, let, let me draw God like that. God has a number of attributes and qualities. So attributes and qualities. What's one of those qualities? Love. Can you see, though, that God has, must have other qualities? For, for instance, you look at uh, the design in creation. What do you see in creation? Perfection. Like, not only perfection, but huge amounts of mathematics, isn't it? Yes. Okay, so, so God must be a mathematician too, right? <laughs> and God must be a comedian too, right? Yes. So, so God has more qualities than just love. Now, love, when I say just love, love is an awesome quality. And in fact, the most powerful quality in the universe. But it is one of God's attributes. So what I would like to do is rather than focus on these qualities, focus on the person or the being behind the qualities. Do you know what I mean by that? It's a bit like in our interaction. Rather than focusing on the emotions I'm receiving from the interaction, so I say, uh, might say, well, yeah, Peter, instead of viewing Peter as Peter, I'll just view Peter as a bit of energy that I can see in his aura and, and everything that I can see, and I'll, I'll interrelate, interrelate with Peter like he's just that energy. Now, what does that do to my relationship with Peter? It changes it into a depersonalized relationship, does it not? Right? And what I'm wanting to do is to have a personal relationship with this entity that's behind these energies. Does that make sense to you? Okay. 